Jesus Christ! Are you out of here? Get the fuck off this freeway! Who the fuck knows? Certain elements in Washington are pushing for a military intervention into Mexico and much of the public is behind them on this. But the Mexican government claims that such an action would be tantamount to a declaration of war. So the president is between a rock and a hard place here. He doesn't want war with Mexico. But then again, seven federal agents are dead, and that simply can't stand. That's why this should be an FBI investigation. The DEA has compromised itself enough already. FBI? We've been investigating the Mendoza cartel for over a year oh, now. Oh, yeah, that's worked out well. Enough! This interagency bullshit has got to stop. That's why I brought in Assistant Deputy Director Shane Dixon. She created this task force and she'll be running it. Miss Dixon? Agent Stone was investigating the sale of military weaponry to the Mendoza cartel in Juarez. Why the hell wouldn't you tell us that? Water under the bridge, Agent Guerra. The Mendozas are a new player in Juarez. Not much is known about their leader, Juan Mendoza, but the scope of their operation is growing exponentially. Drugs, guns, gambling, prostitution. We've never seen a new cartel grab power so quickly. Which is why we think they may have infiltrated one or more of our federal law enforcement agency. That bombing was no accident. They knew exactly where and when to strike. And that's why neither the DEA nor the FBI are running this operation. We have a totally autonomous team. Miss Dix and I have another meeting to get to. From this moment on, it's all up to you. Don't fuck it up. Let me introduce everyone. Special Agent Eddie Guerra joined the DEA soon after completing his tour of duty in Operation Desert Storm. He holds the record for the single largest drug seizure in Southern California history. He's also the only DEA agent involved in the investigation who managed to survive the bombing. FBI Special Agent Kimberly Evans, the youngest agent ever to win the FBI Medal for Meritorious Achievement. She single-handedly apprehended a serial killer who had murdered 32 women and in the process saved the life of his last victim. I brought her into the task force because of her ties to Los Angeles criminal gangs connected to the cartel. So you're in charge overall, but who's in charge on the street? Detective Benjamin McCall. He's with LAPD's Robbery Homicide Division. A 30-year veteran, he is a two-time winner of the Medal of Valor. A homicide detective? With all due respect, ma'am, isn't this a little out of his jurisdiction? Not at all. 
Stone's daughter Jessica contacted Detective McCall the day after the bombing and told him her father had been threatened just the day before, which means we actually have a suspect and a witness. The suspect is Antonio Alvarez. Why'd she take that to the LAPD? Why not come to us? That's why. That's right, Agent Guerra. They all served together in Vietnam. McCall knows them both. So two became cops, and one became a crook. Worse than that, he's an asshole. Agent Evans, Agent Guerra, I'd like you to meet Detective McCall. You'll have whatever you need as far as resources. But in terms of manpower, you're on your own. No backup from federal agencies. We don't know who we can trust, so you'll only report to me. You're going to hit the Mendoza cartel as hard as humanly possible. Find and arrest those responsible for that bombing, and protect the witness because without her, we don't have anything. What if we find out the cartel has someone inside the FBI? Or the DEA? Well, then the hardliners will have a reason to send the military into Mexico, and let's pray that's not the case. Because if that happens, a lot of innocent people are going to get hurt. We need to let the public know that any foreign asshat who comes after us in our own country will get lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. If the tip pays off, you'll get the I rest. I you, babe. Of course not. Oh, you know how I feel about you, right? Detective McCall? Catch you later, Ben. You bet. What can I do for you, sweetie? My name's Jessica Stone. You knew my father. He died in that DEA bombing. He left a letter with his lawyer. It said if something happened to him, I should find you. That I could trust you. Is this funny to you? Look, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do for you. But you were his friend, right? Right. A long, long time ago. It's just that someone came to our house the day before he died and threatened him. You should be telling this to the DEA, okay? This is way above my pay grade. He said his name was Tony. Who did? The guy who threatened my father. I'm afraid, okay? The way he looked at me was... Let's go out to my car. But, but can't we just... Now! Stan, it's McCall. Listen, I need to get in touch with somebody in charge at the AGO. Yeah. I think I have a witness in the bombing case. This is a DEA investigation. Sorry, boys. I have a federal warrant for Dion Evans. A federal warrant signed by who? Someone who has a lot more juice than you. This is bullshit. It is what it is. Do you want to end up like our brothers? Fuck. Everybody ends up dead eventually. Yeah, but not at 18. So how come you never visit their graves? Because it's too late for them. But you still have a chance. You get popped with this kind of way, you going down for a dime, and not to juvie, but to fucking Folsom. Pull over.
This is your chance to start over, baby bro. Get out of the life for good. You wanna work for the powers that be? That's up to you, Kimmy. But in the end, they just gonna fuck you over. You know that as well as me. All right. Now get out of here. Go. Go! Hell no. You let me go now, and everybody's gonna think I'm a snitch. Not when you tell them it was your sister who picked your ass up. I should have just locked him up. He's gonna get himself killed. We're gonna need him, Agent Evans. Can't have him sitting in a prison. I know. Ask again, Agent Stone. Is the FBI running an undercover operation against the Mendoza cartel? Not authorized to talk about any ongoing investigations. So there is an investigation. I am not authorized. Are you purposely trying to piss me off? Guerra, tell him what our agent Noir is overheard. A conversation between an FBI handler and a confidential informant working for the cartel. Look, I don't know what your man thought he was listening to, but I can assure you he was mistaken. Two days later, the Federalis found our agent dead. Three bullets in the back of the head. All his notes and recordings, gone. So now, our entire investigation is back to square fucking one. I don't care if you're authorized or not. I want some fucking answers. I gotta take this bus. Now? Yeah, sorry, it's important. Take it outside. A DEA agent is dead, and I think you know why. That's bullshit. No way in hell is the FBI responsible for that agent's death. Well, then who is? Are you fucking loco? I told you not to call me at this number, eh? Now? <laughs>